I was visiting my girlfriend a couple of weeks ago and I noticed a spaghetti squash sitting on her counter. And so I asked her, well, how do you prepare your squash? And then she asked me how I prepared mine and I started thinking, maybe I should do a video on that. So here it is. Pronto, allora andiamo a cucinare. Ciao my friends, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Lucia, I'm a chef and a nutritionist and this is where I share easy recipes for everyday cooking with you. So to get started with our butternut squash, um, sometimes they're a little bit larger and sometimes they're a little bit smaller, so you pick whatever size works for you. But we need to um, cook our butternut squash first before we do anything else. To do that, uh, we need a sharp knife and we just kind of pierce in the middle here and you want to be very careful. We just split in half like that, so easy. So once we have our spaghetti squash cut in half, we need to peel out the insides. Now you should just take a spoon and you just wanna start scraping. You're basically trying to get all the seeds and all the, the slimy kind of uh, strands out. Okay, so now that we have them all cleaned out, uh, I like to just take a little bit of olive oil and put it on the inside. It'll kind of help keep the uh, inside skin moist so it doesn't dry out so much from the heat of the oven. We do want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. I'm just gonna kind of rub that oil everywhere. Next, I just want to take some sea salt and, uh, or any kind of salt really, and just place it inside, just lightly uh, sprinkle. And I even like to add just a little bit of cracked pepper. And that's just gonna kind of help season that inside a little bit. And then on a uh, baking sheet, um, and it's up to you if you want to line it with uh, foil or parchment paper for easy cleanup, but it's pretty easy to clean up. So you just want to take them and put them cut side down. And we're going to put them in the oven and they should cook anywhere, depending on the size, from 45 to 60 minutes. And I'll show you how you can tell when they are done. So let's get that in the oven. In a saute pan, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And I've got it on medium high heat. And to that, um, I'm pretty much gonna add the, the Trinity. So we're gonna start with our uh, diced onions. And to that, I'm gonna add minced garlic. And I just wanna cook that just for a few minutes. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And I do wanna add a little bit of cracked pepper. And then to that, I'm gonna add some diced carrots. About two carrots. I have a little bit more here because I was actually trying to clean out my fridge. This is a great recipe where you can actually clean out your refrigerator and put whatever bits and pieces of uh, vegetables that you have together. So you can really stuff this with anything. And then to that, about two stalks of celery. Again, I have a little bit more because I was just using the end of my celery. So I've probably got about three, maybe four stalks here. So I will have a little bit more vegetables than I normally do, but that's okay. And to this, I'm also gonna add a bell pepper. I happen to have one in my refrigerator um, and I thought I better use it up before it goes bad. So I've got about um, one and a half bell peppers that I've topped up here. I will leave below um, a description of the recipe amounts. But again, it's just a guideline. You don't have to stick to it. Just use up however much or whatever you have if you're trying to, um, to clean out your fridge. I love when I can make a meal come together and clean out the fridge at the same time. Nothing goes to waste then. So we just wanna saute this for a few minutes until all the vegetables kinda of get soft. Now while these vegetables are cooking, the other thing I wanna add is some ground meat to this. Um, you could make it vegetarian and just add mushrooms or um, you can add any kind of meat. I chose ground turkey, but if you wanted to use ground chicken or beef or pork, that's totally fine. But I've got ground turkey, so I'm gonna add that. And I'm just gonna break it up as it continues to cook with the vegetables. So the last thing I'm gonna add in here is mushrooms. Um, make sure when you get your mushrooms that they are fresh and you can tell when you have fresh mushrooms when it's a complete seal around the stem. So I have about a pound of mushrooms. All right, so once all the vegetables and the meat are all cooked, you wanna taste for seasoning, um, but be careful not to add too much salt because we are gonna add some uh, Parmesan cheese to this. And I'm actually going to reduce the heat. And to that, we're gonna add a cup of shredded uh, mozzarella cheese. 
I'm gonna add four ounces of mascarpone cheese and the only reason is because it was in my fridge and I want to use it up I don't want it to go bad um, and I don't have anything currently planned for it so I'm gonna add that but you don't have to add that again I'm just trying to clean out my fridge and that's what I'm adding to this and so now we just want to mix all of this up until all the cheese is evenly combined and this uh, for me the mascarpone is melted in here Okay, so now that's done. So now we can just let that sit and wait until our um, spaghetti squash is cooked. Okay, so you can tell when your butternut squash is done, when you take a knife and you can easily pierce it, then you know it's done. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. So these have cooled a little bit because we do have to kind of hold them. And you can see they're beautifully cooked. And at this point, you just take a fork and you just go like this and it just breaks up all the strands that's where we get that spaghetti uh, look or the reason it's called spaghetti squash so you just want to break up all those strands now you could just serve this on its own um, just with a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper it's really yummy just like that but we're gonna stuff these all right so now that we have that all broken up now we want to take our filling and add it all right so we just want to add the meat in here and you can add as much filling or as little filling as you want. I actually have enough here for probably four uh, butternut squash. And then um, I have some of the mozzarella that I sliced. You could do shredded too, you don't have to do sliced. But I'm just gonna place some slices just along the top, like so. All right, so now I'm going to place this in the oven. Um, at 350 degrees so we want everything to heat back up again and the the cheese will be melted and then I'll show you how we finish it with um, the herbs on the top all right and this is beautiful you can see how nice and golden brown it is I like to add just a little bit of parsley to add some fresh flavor and some color one thing I did forget is I forgot to add the tomato sauce so once we get the uh, meat filling in there, we put a little bit of tomato sauce and then the mozzarella on top. So I did forget that, but it's okay. It's gonna taste good either way. So this one here is super easy. I hope you guys give this one a try. Until next time, I'm Chef Lucia and I'll see ya. Ciao.